Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I wanna show you some of the technology that's in this 9R tractor, as well as some of the capabilities of this true set digger. One thing really nice about this 9R tractor is it has auto track turn automation. So right now, I'm coming to the end of the field where I gotta make a turn. Got my hands right here, the tractor's slowing down. As you can tell, we're turning. The digger's getting picked up behind me. So the digger, still again, hands free. Just wanted to double check we didn't run into the fence there. Keep the hands up. As you can tell, I'm not touching anything. Now it's gonna get me on my next GPS line. The digger should go down. Speed picks up. You see the digger went down, speed picked up. Boom, there we go. So it's completely hands free. So this digger is equipped with true set, which allows me to change the depth from the cab, which at the time was the newest technology when we bought this digger. But now they have a thing called true set active where they put a camera facing these wheels. And as you can tell, there's a bunch of mud that'll build up because of the wet conditions. And then it'll automatically run the digger deeper based off how much mud it can analyze off of those tires, which is kind of cool. It would be something nice to add to ours maybe later down the road. The dust sure is flying today. It's hard to see behind the digger. As you can tell, there's quite a bit of dust. Since all of our main tractors on the farm are using JD Link and Operation Center, we're able to view everything through the Operation Center app. So here on my iPad, you can see the field we're working now. Here I am going with that blue dot saying 35.6 acres per hour is my productivity. You can see these green lines back and forth is the passes I've taken. Here's dad in the other four wheel drive where it says 6.2 miles per hour. And then all these orange flags that you see are different tile inlets that we have driven around. And then we also have our loader tractor sitting in a different driveway up here. That way if we find a big rock, we hop out and go grab it. This is another thing I really like about having everything connected and synced up to each other is I'm able to remote display access the display that's actually inside the tractor. So here's me looking at stuff on my iPad. I'm not actually able to touch anything and change anything, but the operator in the cab can switch from screen to screen. And a lot of times I can solve a lot of issues just going through some of these procedures rather than having to drive out to the field and go to the display myself. Another thing that these displays can do since they have a cellular connection is if I were to mark a flag on this map saying that there was a rock, it would drop a pin at my exact location and that pin would get shared to all of our other machines. So there's our bucket tractor, the other four wheel drive in addition to my phone and that way I could come back later to find the rock that I pinned on the map. This is always one of the most satisfying points of a field when that side's worked, that side's worked, and now I'm taking the tractor down the last pass to finish this piece off here before I head down farther to the other side of the field. I almost hate to say it, but when everything's going good, the technology's working like it's supposed to, the digger's working good, the soil's working up good, it almost gets boring riding in here all day, just sitting here, watching, watching for rocks, double checking the sweeps every once in a while. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of things I gotta be doing in here, so it gets it gets long. Since we're running in uh, auto track turn automation mode, I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of of the cab of this 9R tractor. So to my left here is the buddy seat, also known as the instructional seat. So if you got a passenger, this is where they'd sit. It folds up, it also folds down. That way, if you want to use it as like a, a desktop. Back here we also have a cooler, so a refrigerator. It's on right now, don't have anything in it, but you can use that to keep all your drinks and beverages cold that you bring along. Got a 120 volt plug back here, so if you do bring something that you wanna keep charged all day, that is really nice. Another feature I like on this one is, it's got a window here that pops open, so if you're, you gotta throw like an apple core or banana peel out, that's easy to do. Here's the main view for most of the day of the steering wheel here's the the horn the lights windshield wipers uh the key one thing i do like a lot about these ones is it's got these what i call harley pegs 
so you can keep your feet rested up on those lean back they also got one over here the seat turns really far around which gives optimum visibility huge fan of that off to my right is all of where everything is run so we have all of our hydraulic controls the cruise control speed control gear control uh, GPS as well as the 4600 monitor which has all the information for everything for the tractor as well as the implement behind me then off to the side above the fender there's a aux cord USB plugs a couple different diagnostic plugs and 12 volt connections if you're running external monitors then we got the Apple CarPlay as well as the main display up here on the corner post that shows all of the fuel readings as well as the RPMs and your gear. So that is the tour of the inside of the cab with the great visibility of this 9R tractor. Similar to how GPS has helped farmers in the past so they don't always have to keep continuously looking back and forth, back and forth, it helps with fatigue. Auto track turn automation, which is running right behind me now, is going to help with that same level of fatigue. That way, you're not consistently having to look over the shoulder and to figure out when you got to drop the implement. It just all program it into the, the computer of the tractor and it does it how you set it. So, there's not a ton where you have to turn the deck anymore. It definitely helps on fatigue for the long hour days. There goes dad and the other four wheel drive. He doesn't know how to set up auto track turn automation. I haven't showed him, so he's still doing turns the old the old method. I finished that other field. Now I'm just folding out at this other 160 acres that we have up the road about four miles. And this one should take us probably four hours. So it's seven o'clock now. Hopefully it'll be done by 11. Dad's already been here for an hour, so should go along pretty quick. Now I made it to the field, so I have to go into the 4600 display and change the location so the tractor knows which field we're at. That way it'll give me all of my guidance lines for this field. And then I will choose the Spring 23, reason being for different farms. So this one lays east and west, so we're going to work it this way. Or we have other farms that lay north and south, and we would work them that way. So. We had to program that into the computer of the tractor. The reason I want to make sure I select the right farm in the display when I switch fields is that way it'll store all this farm's information inside of the folder for this farm. So I'll be able to find out how much fuel I used, def I used, how long it took me to work this field. All that information will be on John Deere Operation Center to help me make better decisions moving forward. Seems like this year, more than any other spring, as far as I remember, we're working in the fields a lot more at night rather than in, during the day. As a farmer, it's not really an eight to five job. It's work when the conditions are right, no matter what time of day or what time of night. But lucky for you guys, that means I'm gonna take the drone up, get some cool shots of us digging here at night. Now folding up to bring her home. Made it back to the main farmyard today. Ran the tractor for just only shy of 10 hours, 9 hours, 41 minutes. Burned 155 gallons of diesel fuel. Overall had a good day. Finished that 240 acre farm as well as that 160 acre farm. Try to get those planted tomorrow. If you like the content in today's video, let me know down below in the comments. For sure hit the like the like button as well. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We'll see you in the next one.